This is Dan Getman from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Over the past year, the geospatial analysis team at NREL has been focused on developing visualization capabilities that allow users to explore complex spatial data sets. As there's been a lot of interest in exploration and visualization of spatial temporal data, and these tools will not be released to the public until September of this year, we're producing a series of videos demonstrating our work in this area. These tools exist within a framework designed to facilitate the creation of web-based GIS tools that we call the OpenCardo framework. OpenCardo is currently used to support over 20 web-based GIS applications and will be the subject of another video in this series. This video is intended to demonstrate what we're calling the Multivariate Data Visualization Tool. The tool is designed to visualize spatial temporal data sets and modeling results that are too complex to easily visualize in traditional GIS interfaces. The data set that we'll be exploring in this demonstration is a set of preliminary results from the SARA Scenario Evaluation Regionalization and Analysis Model. These results represent values for every urban area in the United States that are contained within three scenarios represented by this top button and eight attributes represented by this second button for 40 years between 2010 and 2050. Viewing the results of the SARA model in their entirety would take close to a thousand maps. We're currently looking at results for urban areas across the United States with the default attribute of hydrogen demand in the current scenario, which is the hydrogen success scenario. We can zoom in to the United States to get a closer look at a certain area, in this case, the East Coast. By changing the values for the scenario or the attribute, we can update the map display for the urban areas. If we change the value of hydrogen success to accelerated success, and thus changing the scenario, all of the urban areas represent hydrogen demand for the accelerated success scenario. By changing the attribute, we can update all of the urban areas on the map to represent the selected attribute. In this case, we'll change from hydrogen demand to average station capacity. And as you can see, hovering over the urban areas gives you the average station capacity value for hydrogen success scenario for the year 2046. Clicking on an urban area brings up a chart that represents the values for the currently selected scenario and attribute for all of the years available in the model results. Clicking on New York brings up this chart for hydrogen demand for the current year 2046. By changing the values of the slider, we both update the map and show on the chart the currently displayed year. By changing the slider, you can see that these values update in the chart to tell you what the value for hydrogen demand for the area of New York is. And if we release the slider, all the values on the map update. So as we go forward in time, you can see changes in the map representing differences in the output for the selected year. Additionally, the user can change the values displayed in the chart by selecting those values in the legend at the bottom. Hovering over the chart shows the value for the currently selected attribute for the year the user is hovering over. Clicking on this year changes the position of the displayed year in the slider, the chart, and updates the values on the map. By providing this level of access to the modeling results, users can thoroughly explore these data and better understand the impacts of the assumptions in each of the modeled scenarios. Again, this is Dan Getman from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. If you have any questions about this visualization capability, please feel free to email me at dan.getman at nrel.gov.